It's time to fire Finn. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. Finn Donnelly has been the MP for New Westminster Coquitlam since 2009, and I say it's time he was fired. It has nothing to do with his party stand on economic issues. Donnelly's a, a member of the New Democratic Party, the Socialists, and the ones that promise to radically alter Canada, the ones with all the supporters saying we need to completely redo capitalism. But that's not why Finn Donnelly deserves to be fired. He deserves to be fired because on the biggest story in the world, when he found out that he was a part of it, even tangentially, he lied, essentially, to the Canadian people. He lied to the world. He smeared Canada's reputation by implying that a little boy who was washed up on a beach in Turkey would be alive today if Canadian bureaucrats and the Harper government were just not so cold-hearted. Now, Donnelly, you will remember, was central to the story of the Canadian connection to Alan Curdy, the little boy, the three-year-old, who, along with his brother Galib and his, and his mother, were, well, they drowned. They drowned in the boat that their father put them in, Abdullah Kurdi, capsized on its way from Turkey to Greece. The Kurdis were described as refugees. Now we're getting a different story, one that claims that Kurdi was actually, Abdullah Kurdi was actually a human smuggler. But in the early days, in the early hours of that story, they were all just simple victims. And then we found out that the family had an aunt in Canada, Tima Kurdi, and that she had wanted to bring her brother to Canada. Finn Donnelly jumped at the chance to smear Canada's reputation, going on TV show after TV show, doing radio interviews, saying that, well, Canada had rejected the Kurdi family. The only problem was, Abdullah Kurdi and his family had never applied for refugee status in Canada. Yes, they were mentioned in a letter that Finn Donnelly had given to Immigration Minister Chris Alexander, but there was no chance for Canada to accept or reject Abdullah Kurdi and his family before he put them in that boat in the middle of the night without enough life jackets and, and put them in harm's way. But Finn Donnelly wanted to blame Canada. Abdullah Kurdi still does, even after the reports have come out that he was the human smuggler. He was the one at the helm of the boat, the one who was acting as the captain before everything went awry. Finn Donnelly has yet to apologize for what's been described even by local radio station CKNW as false information. They had him on the air. They asked him to apologize. He refused. NDP leader Tom Mulcair has said there's no need for Donnelly to apologize for misleading Canadians, for misleading the world, for smearing Canada's reputation. Even CBC looked to him to, to try and clear things up, and, and Donnelly just was having none of it. Do you, now listening to that, Mr. Donnelly, recognize that that could be misleading to Canadians about what you were actually trying to suggest, given that you knew that Abdullah uh, did not have a refugee application? No, I was always very clear that uh, I was working on behalf of my constituent and uh, working with uh, Tima closely to get both families, both brothers, into the country. That was her goal. She made a very difficult decision to do the formal application with Mohammed and his family first. If the man is willing to smear our country's reputation, also that he can grandstand and attack the current government in the middle of an election, he's willing to smear an, our entire country's reputation for his own political gain, his own partisan gain. Does that man, regardless of party, deserve to be an elected official? I'd say no. So I'm going to ask you to do a few things. Keep up the pressure on Finn Donnelly to be fired. Now it's up to the people in his riding, in his electoral district, to do that. If you know anyone out there, you can contact them. But you can also sign our petition calling on the people of New Westminster Coquitlam to fire Finn. We'll also be presenting this petition to New Democratic Party leader Tom Mulcair. He should be saying that Donnelly is no longer qualified to be a candidate. The people of Canada have had their reputation dragged through the mud. They have had their reputation besmirched. We've been described as people that don't care about the plight of even a drowned three-year-old boy. That's not the Canada I know. That's not the Canada that's in reality. Canada does care. We care immensely about what's happening in the world. It's why we're one of the, the top donors for humanitarian aid. It's why our fighter jets are battling back against the forces that are creating the real refugees out there. Finn Donnelly opposes that. He wants to just help people get out of harm's way. He wants to help these migrants that are really economic refugees. They're not real refugees. They're economic migrants. That's what they are. And he doesn't mind running Canada's reputation through the mud to do it. It's time for Finn Donnelly 
to be fired. So sign our, uh, sign our petition on this. Make sure you share it on Facebook and make sure that you share this story so that the world knows what kind of a man Tom Mulcair is willing to hold in his cabinet, one he's willing to stand behind, one he calls himself proud to stand beside.